makes his Broadway debut. Mike Johnson tries to hide his boner. And the end of democracy is sad. But could it also be profitable? It can. So let's get into another installment of Trump 2.0 coming for the White House. I'm going to come. <laughs> week, Donald Trump made his insane yet predictable pick for Attorney General Matt Gates, Florida congressman, and if wraparound shades were a person. <laughs> Critics have been asking, does Matt Gates know enough about the law to be Attorney General? And every day, we're learning that he has lots of experience with some laws. CBS News has learned that two women told the House Ethics Committee they were paid to have sex with Gates and to travel with him on multiple occasions. One also says that she saw Gates having sex with a minor. She observed to a right representative Gates having sex with her friend who was 17 at the time. Your future attorney general, everyone. It's always the people you most expect. <laughs> And if you're wondering how they found out, it's a case of he said, she said, he has a paper trail. The committee has Gates's Venmo and PayPal transactions that allegedly show payments for sex and text messages where he refers to illegal drugs in code words. Representative Gates would use terms like, um, can you make sure that there are party favors present or who's in charge of the party favors? Party favors, clever, can't crack that code. <laughs> And they said he paid for sex with Venmo? Has this guy ever heard of cash? <laughs> Come on, at the bare minimum, an attorney general should know how to cover up his own crimes. <laughs> now, according to this lawyer, it wasn't all just sex and drugs. There was also theater. The lawyer claims in 2019, then-Congressman Gates paid the women to travel to New York to watch his appearance on Fox News, attend the Broadway show Pretty Woman, and have sex with him. <laughs> Taking two prostitutes to see Pretty Woman? <laughs> it's a little on the nose, wasn't it? I guess High School Musical was sold out. <laughs> but the worst part is that he apparently took them to watch him on Fox News. God, I hope they charged him extra for that. <laughs> It's $1,000 for butt stuff and $2,000 if I have to look at Brit Hume. <laughs> now, the House Ethics Committee looked into all these allegations, but there's a debate about whether they should still release its report now that Gate Gates has left Congress. Unfortunately for Gates, the Speaker of the House took office with a very, very clear philosophy. My office is going to be known for trust and transparency and accountability. Transparency. Yes, I love it. Here is a guy who understands how important it is that people hear the truth about their next attorney general. So Mike Johnson, hand over the report. Speaker Mike Johnson says the report should stay sealed. I would be concerned about opening the Pandora's box of saying that the House Ethics Committee, with its vast resources and unlimited power, effectively, could, could investigate private citizens and release reports about them. Mike Johnson, seriously? Your argument is that if they can investigate Matt Gates for having sex with an underage girl, then they can investigate anyone for having sex with an underage girl. And is that really what we want as a country? <laughs> yes! Yes! We want that! We want that! That is what we want. You're violating your principle of transparency to defend the guy accused of throwing sex parties? You, a man who wears a blindfold during sex so that he doesn't accidentally see his own penis? <laughs> what are you so worried about? With regard to the report, there's a very important reason for the tradition and the rule that we always have almost always followed, and that is that we don't issue investigations and ethics reports on people who are not members of Congress. Okay, is it me, or did that almost seem like a tell? What was that about? So he's saying it would be a terrible precedent to release this report. He's warning against it after a member steps down. But keeping him honest, the House Ethics Committee has done this before, most notably in a financial impropriety case for former Tennessee Congressman Bill Boner, 
who left the House to become mayor of Nashville. Yep, that is right. There is precedent for releasing an ethics report because of a guy named Bill Boner. <laughs> Not to be confused with Boner Bill, which is what Matt Gates Venmos at the end of a sex party. <laughs> had an ethics scandal in the quaint scandal days when your scandals were financial and not pubescent. <laughs> and after finding that out about him, forgive me, but I went down a bit of a boner hole. I... <laughs> I discovered some old news clips that after leaving Congress, Bill Boner did some amazing work as the mayor of Nashville. You might not recognize this man who called himself Bob until he removed his disguise. Then you know it's Mayor Bill Boner. And the disguise was worn when he went undercover last April to buy illegal drugs and to learn just how bad drug trafficking is on Nashville streets. Impressive disguise. Usually you just hide a boner with a math textbook. <laughs> but you gotta give boner a hand because it worked. These are pictures of the drug transaction in which Bona bought $40 worth of cocaine in Northeast Nashville. And one of the guys that we bought from was by the name of Big Daddy. One Big Daddy may be out of the drug selling business in Nashville, but if these bumper stickers that are going around are any indication, there may be other Big Daddies in town. It's good, it's good, but I think there's one thing that bumper sticker needs. Yeah. There you go, foolproof. But why did I spend two and a half minutes talking about Bill Boner? Because it's a fun little escape, yes. But also, this is the precedent Mike Johnson can have to release the House Ethics Report. So Johnson, listen up. In times of need, look to Boner. <laughs> For more on this debate on whether to release the House Ethics Report, let's go to Capitol Hill with Ronnie Chang. <laughs> claims that if the Ethics Committee releases the Gates report, then they could dig up any dirt on any private citizen. Isn't that a ridiculous argument? Uh, no, he's absolutely right. We should leave Matt Gates alone. Back to you, Desi. <laughs> what? No, why would we leave this alone? Gates is a public official accused of going to underage sex parties. Yeah, yeah, so, so what? Yeah, they're go, what, they're, what, they're gonna investigate every party now? <laughs> it's, a, it's a slippery slope, okay? Like, what, so no one's allowed to get together with friends and get a little wasted and have an argument that gets out of hand? Boy, I barely pushed him. What are you talking about I'm, here? I'm, I'm talking about precedent, okay? Today's Matt Gates, and then tomorrow they're gonna go after innocent civilians outside a forest in New Jersey on a Saturday night who are totally innocent. <laughs> You said innocent twice. New Jersey? You're being weird. No, you're being weird. Everything's fine. <laughs> All right, well, well, let's get some additional reporting from Josh Johnson. Yeah. Josh, what can you tell us? Huh? Uh, t tell you what, I didn't say anything. You know, I, I wasn't even with Ronnie in that force. <laughs> No, jo Josh, I want to know what the Justice Department officials are thinking. Oh, right, 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 okay. Well, I spoke to multiple people inside the Justice Department, and they have no idea we were even near that force, so it's all good. <laughs> no, no, Matt Gates. What are they saying about Gates? Oh, uh, department officials are nervous about sex offender representing them, and that's bad. Uh, and, it, and it was a long time ago. Just like Saturday night was also a long time ago. <laughs> so, best to just leave both things alone. Back to you, Desi. Wait, wait, w what is going on with you guys? You were in a forest together in New Jersey last Saturday? No, no, of course not. Absolutely not. We weren't burying anybody in a forest. I don't even own a shovel. Josh, <laughs> shut the f up. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm so scared. I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> to suspect that something's going on here. Let, let, let me just go out to Grace Kuhl and Schmidt. Grace? Grace, where are Grace, you? Grace, 
Why don't you go back to the forest? Because I can't stop thinking about what we did. Ain't no, <laughs> ain't no fucking we. Don't tell Desi. The shit up, okay. Grace, they have nothing. Grace, Grace, why do you have a shovel? Digging? Who's been digging? <laughs> I didn't say anything about digging. Ronnie did most of the digging. Oh God! Grace, Grace shut the. Okay. Guys, 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 we're going to get to the bottom of this. But but first, I'm going to turn to Jordan Klepper for more on Gates. No, 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 because Jordan, Jordan is, he's, oh, he's been on vacation, baby, <laughs> to the Bahamas. He said to tell you he was leaving for a few days and to never contact him ever again. <laughs> okay, you know, I, I am not stupid. I see what's going on here. Saturday night, New Jersey, digging in a forest. You guys were gardening without me. Oh, oh yes. 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 Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 You, yeah. You, you, you caught us. Uh, we're, we're so sorry. But um, if you could say that you were with us until like 2.45 a.m. that night, that would be great. Yeah, you got it. Ronnie Chang, Josh Johnson, and Grace Cooler. <laughs>